Cynthia Arrivo and Lena Waithe are pictured holding hands at a fundraiser. It seemed that Lena Waithe and Cynthia Arrivo were confirming the persistent rumors that they are dating. The two arrived at the Alvin Ailey Spirit Gala on Thursday night together and had individual photos taken on the red carpet, but Page Six saw them entering Lincoln Center's auditorium holding hands. For about two years, there has been conjecture that Waithe, 38, and Arrivo, 35, are romantically involved. Nevertheless, they have never officially declared their relationship. In November 2019, Kai creator Waithe married movie executive Alana Mayo. However, their marriage lasted only two months. Waithe and 38-year-old Mayo filed for divorce in November 2020. After careful thought and consideration, we have decided to part ways, they said in a statement at the time. We kindly request that you respect our privacy during this time as we have nothing but support for one another. For her part, Erivo had previously been romantically involved with Mario Martinez and British singer-actor Dean John Wilson. In May 2018, Waithe made her first online acquaintance, Erivo, who shared a picture on her Instagram page with the words, I finally found my sis. You really are everything, Lena. You are flawless. What a brainstorm. I'm so happy to have you in my life. Like glue, stuck. Glow, queen glow. The British actress and the Chicago native have sat together at numerous award presentations, including the Tony Awards last weekend, and have been spotted on numerous red carpets. From 2015 to 2017, Erivo performed in the Broadway production of The Color Purple. She then portrayed Harriet Tubman in the 2019 movie Harriet. She is nominated for two Oscars and has won an Emmy, a Grammy, and a Tony. Her most recent role is that of Alphaba in the soon-to-be-released film adaption of the Broadway hit Wicked, which is helmed by John M. Chu and features Ariana Grande as Glinda the Good Witch. For her work on Master of None, Waithe, on the other hand, made history in 2017 when she became the first black woman to win an Emmy for Outstanding Writing for a Comedy Series. The Ailey Spirit Gala was also attended by Amy Pohler, Lorraine Toussaint, Amy Sherald, and Gillian Hervey.